Good afternoon, this is Chris Brecher with Simpler Trading and the Chart Patterns Mastery free video, May 18th, 2023. Boy, what a market we've had. I'm really into divergence between the bonds and stocks, but right now with this AI furor, it isn't mattering. So I just sh thought I'd show you before you even think of anything other than chart patterns, just let's look at chart patterns. So the first thing I want you to see are the AI big old NASDAQ stocks that everybody's acting like it's 1999 again. So you have Lamb Research doing this. Wow. You got Broadcom doing that. Even the Costco's coming in, but guess what? Not AI. But if you take the big AI stocks, it's just incredible that anything that somebody thinks is even remotely re uh, related, they just go crazy. These are massive moves, 5% in a day, ISRG up there. They're all supposedly, they are AI stocks. And that can go on longer than you ever imagined. Are there negative divergences? Absolutely. Let me show you some of them. Here's the bond market. So here's the bond market getting trashed. I'll put it on a four hour chart to give you some drama. Then here's the NASDAQ, holy cow. And this is too far from everything. Too far from every move and average, too far from everything. But guess what? You don't have a reversal pattern. Everybody is trying to time tops. And I thought I'd show you what a top looks like. It doesn't look like this. Usually what happens is you get this, then you get a reversal candle, and then you get sort of a consolidation when it gets temporary oversold, and then they plow under. So just keep this in mind here, just right there. So right here is May, April 30th, May 1st. Then you'll see right here is May 3rd. So we're gonna go to May 3rd rewinding on Thinkorswim the NASDAQ on May, the end of May 3rd. We're just going to take May 3rd in here so you could get a perspective of what a short-term top looks like. There's your perspective. So you got this straight up move, sound familiar? But then it started just doing that, sort of running out of gas. Then you got the first break under this ATR trailing stop that I obsess about right here. That created a temporary oversold condition. Not much of one, but a temporary one. Then what you got was this sort of pattern where you got a bear flag here that would then complete this kind of top. So you got this, and I'll draw some lines for you. You got that, and then you got that. But you don't have that now. So you have this straight up move. I'm gonna put a line on the left so you can see it better. The straight up move, the second move up, and then sort of the loss of momentum because you see on the bottom, yeah, the next high was on lower, RS, uh, lower MACD or lower momentum. So you gotta wait for that. What happened after that? Well, let's go into May 4th. This is just, well, this is May 3rd, and I'm gonna put it 1654, end of the day. There, you see the bear flag, holy cow. All you did was try to test the breakdown. Look at that. So let's go in here to May 4th. There, there, it went down. Now, where did it stop? It stopped at support. So if one of the first things to notice is the faster it goes up, the less support it has on the way down. These prior tops become support, no doubt about it. But at the meantime, there was nothing underneath down here. So you had that topping formation. You could draw a defined trend line and then it went down to that support. Now, contrast at the now. <laughs> it's hard to even see. It's so impressive. But you don't have any support underneath. But you don't have that structure of a lack of momentum. 
Now, keep in mind, tomorrow, if you open down here, so you have this, which would be a dark cloud cover if a red candle takes back a big green. I only look at the big candles. If you look at all these, they'll drive you nuts. So you want when a red candle takes back half a green. That doesn't mean it's the top. Then you see how the oversold rally is like. Or if you're a futures trader and you want a lot of risk, you short it there and you have a stop up here. I'd rather look for that topping pattern I showed you. So that's how I want to look at that. Now, going back the other way, where could the ES go? Like I said, I showed you tops in here, but where could the ES go when you take it on a weekly? I showed you the NASDAQ and how extended. Then you look at the ES and it's not as extended. Plus, look at all that support if it gets over this. If. It's a big if. So just keep that in mind that it's not as extended. I wouldn't be surprised to see the ES get up to here another 50 points while the NASDAQ goes back to here. Now, I don't have any reasons for that yet. I like that three reasons. But right now, the ES is at resistance a lot of people ask, well, does that mean to short there? No. What it means is, number one, that's a zone. Number two, it means to look for that topping pattern that I showed you earlier. You can even see it over here. It rallied right to this resistance and then formed a top. And then a trend line that you could comfortably play on the downside. You don't have any of that yet. The next thing you're going to ask when you go back to the NASDAQ, are there any time frames that look bad? Do they look extended? Everyone I'm showing you is. Do you see anything here that looks like a rollover or a reversal candle like there? No, not yet. How about on the left, a four-hour chart? No. How about an hourly chart? No. So the key is you haven't had that kind of topping where you can do a trend line. You can be patient for that. These are massive moves. And if you miss the beginning, at least you could get it on the way down. And more than enough meat on the bone on the way down. So I hope you like this video. If you do, think about joining the Chart Patterns Mastery free trial. $7. Take care. Good afternoon, everyone. This is Chris Brecher, and I'm Senior Managing Director of Stocks at Sippler Trading. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you like our content, please leave us a like and a comment down below. Also, be sure to subscribe to our channel and click the bell notification icon so you never miss any of our great new content coming out. Good trading, and we'll see you at the next video. Take care.